Hello everyone, uh, today I I finally got another reaction out. I know, I've been slacking, cause, well, I didn't want my reactions to be the main focus, since who wants to see some schmuck watching a YouTube video, am I right? Well, apparently a lot of you do, cause that's all people watch. <clears throat> anyway, um, today's gonna be a double reaction. Be we'll be reacting to Pixar Villains Bed to Pure Evil, and his... Chad Peterson's 100 sub special, um, his rant on Lady Maud. But, uh, yeah, let's just go right into it. Oh, light your tongue. I still need to see that. I just never got around to it. sentiment I know I wouldn't now I actually have I actually have this gut feeling that my toys are alive because of Toy Story fun fact even though I know they're not but you're just this gut feeling I actually named the Pokemon after this in my, in my Pokemon Sun Nuzlocke. You should check it out sometime. It barely gets any views. But yeah. But yeah, I agree. Dinosaur. Dude, I forgot everything about that movie. All I remember is like the dad dies. Or I think he dies. I, I don't I don't even know anymore. I, that movie is just so forgettable. That stinky Pete. Oh yeah, definitely. said hell, like, he said the word hell, and I was like, oh sh, oh shoot, he said, he said a potty word, <laughs> like, yeah, that was exactly my reaction, pretty much, obviously, it doesn't matter now, since I swear all the time, but whatever, oh, chick hicks, 
Dude, that guy is such a prick. I don't get why he's so likable. Ah, true. I don't remember this guy. I don't know, I haven't really been keeping up with Pixar movies. I think the last one I watched was Toy Story 4. I think. Yeah, Toy Story 4, that sounds about right. That was such the latest one I watched. Oh, yes. Definitely. Ah, yep, water news. Uh, he is number 10. Okay. That's good to know. Oh, Charles Munts. Zerg. Oh yeah, I I really need to check out Lightyear. I mean, I heard it. I've heard like mixed reviews. Some say it's pretty good. Some say it's mediocre. But, yeah. I'm willing to check it out. Yep. Oh, the chick from Incredibles 2. Yeah, I didn't see that yet. I know. But I do know this is like, just an, your average movie. Like, nowhere near as good as the first one. Which is expected. All right, Randall. Lots of yes. Oh, yes. Eat. 
He is one of those really good twist villains. Ah, yep, yeah, Miles. Yeah, huh? I mean, it's been a hot while since I last saw Cars 2. I remember finding it just, like, just meh. But, that was like years ago. And I'm willing to check it out again. Ah, yep, the Zondep. Oh, he gets number two. Yeah, Chick, Chick Hicks and and uh, Storm, they're just assholes. Like, there's really nothing. You can't really call them evil, they're just, they're just dicks. Nothing more, nothing less. Ah, Syndrome. Alright, now we're moving to video number two. His uh, 100 sub special, which congrats by the way. Um, last time I checked, I only had like 96 or something. Hold up, I have the tab open on my phone. Just give me one second. Yeah, 96. So I'm catching up. I'll catch up to you. <laughs> Let's go. But congrats, yep. man, you earned it. I have reached 100 subscribers. So, I'm making this video because I want to thank you all for getting me this far. Eh, no problem, well, that, And I promised Mr. a certain something that we'll get to when we get to it. Anyways, anyways I want to thank all of these people. Hey, there's me right the there. Now... Well, I know that two of, two of these people have changed their name. Oh, really? But I was unable to, well, to edit this part, this part of the part here, so... Oh, be sure to let me know. Oh, what about this? Anyway... I did not... I forget about the announcement. Yup, it's time to discuss my Age of Calamity redo. I did not forget about this. I simply have way too many actors, and I need some more. Oh, if nice. you're interested, be sure to let me know. Never played Age of Calamity, so anyway. I don't really know <laughs> any of the characters or who I'm fit for. But yeah, I hope you do well in that. Now, oh. I think it's about time for the moment you've all been waiting for. I've teased this for a while. Oh yes, you have. <laughs> and now that I'm at this, this milestone, I am going to deliver. With that out of the way, let's get into this. This character is abysmal. Seriously, there's a reason she was on my worst villains list, and she was at the bottom of my Zelda villain ranking. She has no redeeming qualities as a character, or, or a villain. And I have three reasons as to why. So... Y'all better beware, because I'm about to yell in rage each at this character. Now, if you like this character, 
I respect your opinion. Never played the game, she said, so no opinion. This atrocity. Now, if you don't want to hear me yell and rage, I suggest you leave. But yep. if you're interested, yep. your discretion is advised. I hope you prepare yourself for a rage fest. Today is why Lady Maud is an abysmal excuse for a Zelda villain. Yep, yep. Yep, pretty much the same stuff I put in my rants. Yeah. Yeah, don't let your kids watch this. As to quote Robbie Rotten. As to quote Robbie Rotten. At reason one. Lady Moth Hunt is a character that shouldn't even be in this franchise. Seriously. Seriously. Take a look at Ganon slash Ganondorf. Oh, yes. He, he looks badass. He's ass. a powerful sorcerer and a demon. And he's one of the most powerful characters in the franchise. He's so he stands out. Even if he doesn't stand out as an evil villain compared to some of the others in the series, he stands out due to his character and how iconic he is. Mm -hmm. Garahim is another character who's great. Oh yes, I love this guy. Yeah, he has a great personality, mm -hmm. and he's memorable. Like seriously. Oh yeah, that I third really fight met was many very people difficult. Who actually let hate Garahim? What? As a, the character. What? For Why? Due to the fact that he's so, so well made. As so well for, made that you hate him. He's a hateable villain. Yes. But that's the point. He's meant to be a hateable villain. And he does his job. And overall, I really like him as a villain. He does his job of this evil villain. And so, even if he does come off generic at points, instead it's forgivable because that was kind of the point of his character. And finally, let's talk about you guys. One of the most evil villains in the series. Second only to Demise himself. You can stand out to literally be Ganondorf, but even more vile. In fact, he even sees Ganon himself as a means to an end. Just think Astor, but even worse. At least in terms of how evil they are. Oh, Not wow. mention his personality stands out. Out. And the whole unhealthy obsession for beauty and fat. Have you listened to it? You guys make sense due to the narcissism and the fact that he still comes off as a threat. And Lady Maud, on the other hand, she's not a threat and she's not taken seriously, and overall, she is a letdown and an insult to the Zelda series. Like, seriously, look at her. Do you really think she's a viable threat, especially compared to some of the villains I showed you earlier? Combined with the fact that while she isn't taken seriously by the narrative, she's taken seriously by the characters. Like, seriously. Seriously. I... You know, the people who I told you are cowards, or, or well, that's it, really. They're Words of weakling. Because overall, well, I don't get why they're so scared of this hack. I, and I don't know why Nintendo thought it was a good idea to make this character. Especially since Master Koga, even, does a better job as up with a comedic villain since he fit in. This character, on the other hand, does not. She shouldn't even exist. Dude, she doesn't even. She's not. Even, she doesn't even look intimidating. She looks like, like, she looks like a grandma. And oh boy, we're just getting started. At reason two. At, 
I think I'm hearing Fury Bowser. The uh, battle with Fury Bowser. I forgot. So I forgot what it's called. Boring. Like I showed you the design earlier. There's some. So yeah, but I'll show you it again in a little bit in case you forgot. Anyways, let's talk about her motives for a bit before we get back to her design. Like, her motives are literally just I fabulous. Nobody else should be more fabulous than me. Ugh. Like seriously. What? Why is she a villain in this, this series again? Zelda villains She's more are like... known for being threatening. They're, okay? this and one... their motives make sense. Yeah. Even some of the more sympathetic villains have both motives. Dude, she There's sounds more like a comedic relief character. Threat. Even some more comedic villains either have moments where or they're taken seriously or mm -hmm. their goals are bad news for the heroes. All Lady Ma does is, is dress up the Princess of Pytopia in uncomfortable times. That it. That's literally the worst thing she does. Like, seriously. I'd rather have Dark Link as the villain of Triforce Heroes. Now let's get back to her design. This is her design. Does she look threatening? Does she looks she look like, like a, a Zelda villain? She, look, she does, looks like a grandmother. Does she look like someone you'd actually fear? No! She doesn't! Not even her final form is intimidating, which, don't worry, we'll get to. Uh, Overall, just a waste of potential, so especially since I've even seen some concept art, art where she, she looks far better for the villain. And which, I'm not sure if I should show me what they look like. In fact, I never really got the chance. If you really want me to show you... I might be able to show you on Discord or something. Thing we'll show you when you come to the video. Anyways, anyways, I think that's an appropriate time to end this segment. Let's get to the last part. And oh boy. Hey. 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 We are almost done. And trust me, things are going to get intense. Especially the music, because... Reason three. Final reason. Her final boss is tedious, lazy, and annoying. Phase one is way too basic for a final boss, especially since she just runs around with her parasol you need to hit her a bunch. Phase 2 is literally just multiplayer dead man volley. So the problem is, guess what? You need to be playing with other players so what? you not have a bad time. What? No. Like, seriously. Uh-uh. I... No, thank you. The final boss can either be a cakewalk or an absolute nightmare depending on what you chose. I either Dude, play with multiple people really? or play by yourself. Either way, the experience is so, so annoying. And then there's her final form. This design what? absolutely uh -uh. sucks. Like, seriously. That, that's just... Ugh. Were they even Does trying this here? Does look like a proper final form to you? No. Like, seriously. Other final forms and final bosses throughout the Zelda series are way better than this. Yes. She looks like a tryhard at a fashion competition. Oh, wait, that's kind of the point because her whole motif is fashion. Ugh. Except once again. That doesn't fit in with the Zelda series at all! Oh, not to mention, the strategy that you need to use to get at to defeating her, literally jump on the umbrella platform. The problem is that she'll eventually get rid of them, and once again, it was a whole lot easier for, with a, if friends playing alongside you. 
overall, this final boss is uh, either way too simple, although still somewhat annoying, or way too nightmarish. Say what we like, will about most of the other final bosses. Difficulty, but at least they're not unfair. Or even if I wish some of most of them were harder. This, on the other hand, is either annoying or way too hard. Serious. What was Nintendo thinking? Final verdict on this atrocity. This atrocious character gets a zero out of ten. I do not recommend to pick up triple zero to this character. Overall, oh, I'll just screw this character. Dirt. All right. Oh, cool, cool. I'm going to calm down now. Now, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. If you have any suggestions, let me know. And I mentioned... And I have a World of Light remake coming up. And... Cool, the World of Light needs a remake. Up, I have more of a cast. The current cast for this, this project is... Me as Ganondorf, Ridley, Sephiroth, and Dracula. Dog Eating Dog 6 is Wario, Darkon, and Marks. Tomatoy okay. Game Dot as Bowser, Mana Knight, and Gali. Nile as Mario. Pedram as Luigi. Multi Fan of Fangirl as Princess Peach, Kirby, and Bowser Jr. And Geeky Voice Acts as Rosalina and Daisy. Now, not all of these characters will actually be involved. And by all these characters, I'm talking about the characters in the actual game. Especially since some of them either have very little relevance or they wouldn't fit in with the story. That said, if you like this video, then okay. I know some of it looked like it was a little rushed, but I've been planning this for a while. Well, and if you enjoyed, you know, I'm in half. Anyways, with that said, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, that'll do it for this reaction video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya, chump.